Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return with good news about the upcoming Straight Pride Parade. As most of you know, we had a successful fundraiser a few weeks back so that No Bullshit could attend the event and now, I'm happy to announce they've finally gotten their permit and approved the date and time for the parade. Awesome! Woohoo! Things certainly are moving forward quickly on this project too, as they should since the date is only about two months away now, happening at the end of August on the 31st in Boston. And we're going to get into more about the announcement soon too. And later, we'll talk about the hurdles and opposition this parade and its planners and the possible attendees like myself. Well, we're dealing with a lot of pushback here, and it's getting worse and worse as the event approaches. So who knows how bad it will be when we get there. Namely, many people in the public still have qualms with the straight pride parade thing happening at all. And in particular, many liberals and some anti-conservative YouTubers are coming after us for it as well. We're going to get to all that today and more, but first, let's check out an article from the biased left-wing hacks at the Washington Post. Here they go over the event getting its permit and the date being confirmed in the most condescending, passive-aggressive way possible. Their piece is called It Started as Trolling, but a Straight Pride Parade may actually be coming to Boston. Check this one out. Tuck your polo shirts into your pleated shorts. Clip your cell phone to your belt and get ready to march. The Straight Pride Parade just got closer to reality. The city of Boston has approved the permit application and route for the parade, slated for August 31st. Though some hurdles remain, the permit approved approval is an important step in turning a trolling bit of political and social theater meant initially to poke fun at liberal identity politics into an actual thing. In a statement, the city said the police department and city licensing board still need to sign off for the permit to be issued. Mayor Marty Walsh, Democrat, will not attend the event, the city said. Applications are granted on operational feasibility, not based on values or endorsements of belief, the city said. An approved application shows an expected crowd of 2,000 people beginning at Copley Square, flowing past both Boston Common and ending at City Hall. Now, with that said, I think you can see how they try and belittle and mock straight people for even attempting this. And that's the kind of patronizing anti-straight attitude that proves we need to have pro-straight events in this day and age. It's funny how the world is starting to get so pro-gay recently that they're now becoming anti-straight in the process. I also resent the implication of this article, acting like the whole reason this event is happening is for trolling purposes. Now, sure, you can't deny there is a light-hearted, funny joke angle to the straight pride parade, but I wouldn't go so far as to say the whole thing is one big joke, like what the Washington Post implies. In my opinion, it's going to be a day to celebrate for the straights, plain and simple. The gays had the entire month of June to celebrate, where the whole entire world gave those divas the attention they oh so yearn for, so I don't think having one day to celebrate the straights in August is that far out of the question. And now that the date is set, me and my wife have already booked our trip, so we will be there for sure, and thanks again to everyone who donated to our fundraiser to make this happen. But I do have to admit, I'm still a little worried about things. Not only is there a small chance this won't happen still, but also, there's lots of people planning to go there to protest us. Crazy, right? If we went out and protested the gay pride events, we would be called anti-gay bigots and probably get arrested, banned, or fired from our jobs. But for some reason, radical leftists think it's okay to protest straight people, and they will likely get rowdy and possibly violent, as they tend to do, time and time again. For example, there's already multiple Facebook events popping up, pledging to protest the straight pride parade in Boston on that day. This one on screen is called Fight Supremacy Hands Off Our Pride, which makes zero sense already. What kind of supremacy are we even talking about here? My guess is white supremacy since liberals like to bring that bullshit up all the time, but I don't really see how in the world the straight pride parade has anything to do with that. Keep in mind everybody, we have still yet to see anything bad, negative, or anti-gay come from the straight pride parade and its planners or associates. So anytime these anti-straight people attack them and say that they are anti-gay, or something else, well, they're totally making that shit up. And while it's surely possible I'm wrong here, but I still have yet to see any examples for this whatsoever, which you'd think would be pretty easy to come by by now. If there was a tweet or a video of the straight pride people hating or attacking someone, I'm sure it would get shared all over the net by now. But that evidence doesn't exist, so the left-wingers that oppose straight pride are just making shit up. And what's with this whole covetous, only we can have pride events angle? I don't get why the pro-gay liberals and Democrats think this way. It's like they want to have their own events for their own preferred people for very long periods of time, like with Gay Pride or Black History Months, and well, that's fine and dandy, and they can have those events and months all they want, but I don't think they should also be able to stop other people from celebrating things in addition to that. Straights or even whites, we should be able to have the same rights and events and pride and month-long celebrations as everyone else, but according to these kinds of social justice warriors, we can't, because they're the ones who are the true racists and anti-white bigots, and anti-straight now. Let's read into this anti 
Buy Straight Facebook event some more now and see what the details section has to say for itself. In August of 2017, Monica Cannon Grant and Didi Delgado, with 45,000 of their closest friends, marched from Roxbury to Boston Common in response to Charlottesville and the white supremacists that were promoting hatred in Boston. Word on the street is that white supremacists, oops, I mean straight pride folks, plan to show up August 31st. Well, so will we. Hint, hint. Sounds like they might be trying to beat them up or something. We as a city have to send a message that your hatred, phobias, and racism isn't welcomed here. Should be isn't welcome here, but whatever. And then below this section, surprise, surprise, this whole thing on Facebook was organized in part by Black Lives Matter. What a shocker. I forgot that dying and embarrassing group was still around for a second, but here they are, attacking straights and whites once again. And what's up with this random claim that the straight pride people are white supremacists now? Like, where is that even coming from? And well, like all the other attacks against the straight pride people, this one is coming completely out of nowhere. They've never said anything pro-white supremacy, not even close. Just like how they haven't said anything anti-gay or anything offensive at all for that matter. Really, what's going on here is typical liberal tactics at play. They hate certain groups of people like whites or straights, and then when those people are innocent, the radical left is just make shit up about them, trying to paint the people they hate as evil criminals or Nazis or whatever. And they get away with this shit too, since lots of other people just take their word for it. And they're backed by the media, big tech, and Hollywood and everything. But I myself am not going to take these people's words for it, because SJWs, especially Black Lives Matter, they are known to lie about stuff all the time. So why would I just listen to them here when they call others random names without any support? Well, we shouldn't listen to them. And frankly, no one should. And here's yet another example of another Facebook event organizing a protest for the straight pride parade. This one's called straight pride is hate pride. And yet again, this is based on nothing. So I hope you guys notice and appreciate how when I point things out, I like to show you real examples and evidence that back up my claims. Links are also provided in my video descriptions too, because I actually care about showing and proving my points. Meanwhile, on the other side here, leftists just make lots of radical made up statements without any support whatsoever. Like what we're seeing with most of these anti straight pride attacks. Let's go ahead and read on to the description of this event though, just for shits and gigs. Straight Pride Parade. Sounds like a joke, right? Well, it is, but local far-right, homophobic, transphobic activists are working to make it a reality in Boston by holding one on August 31st. More than an absurd joke, this is an attempt to gain legitimacy for a violently homophobic, transphobic, and misogynistic agenda, even though you have no examples of violence. The organizers have a long track record of bigotry and support of fascist groups, even though you don't bother to cite that here. SPLC-designated hate group Mass Resistance has showed early interest in the event, if you say so. In August 2017, the people of Boston dealt a body blow to the national alt-right by bringing out thousands of people to tell these fascists, many of them the same as those organizing the straight pride parade, that we won't have hate in our city. Let's turn out again to show them that, however they rebrand, we see through their lies and will always come out united against their hate. How many baseless accusations can they fit into one description? Jeez, homophobic, transphobic, and misogynistic? I guess we can call this the baseless left-wing attack trifecta. None of these are supported by any sort of link or evidence whatsoever, though. Might as well say anything at this point. You could say the straight pride people hate blacks, browns, Jews, aliens. You could say they hate the show Battlestar Galactica, but none of that's proven to be true. And then the event planner even tries to tie the straight pride parade to some people called mass resistance, and then also the alt-right, and then they even call them fascists, which really worries me here. You see, first of all, that guilt by association bullshit with the first two groups, it's unfounded and completely wrong. And then them calling the straight pride people fascists is basically a dog whistle here. Make no mistake, guys, this is radical leftist dog whistling, and it's their way of telling Antifa they need to show up and protest this thing, and their form of protest is usually getting violent and beating people up, as we've seen in recent history over and over. Particularly, we saw events like this happen just over the weekend in Portland, where Antifa crashed another event and started beating people up. So needless to say, they've been getting more and more violent all the time. At that Portland event this weekend, a guy was even attacked, beaten down, robbed, and had to go to the hospital afterwards, all because he wasn't one of the so-called anti-fascists. And now, if Antifa goes to the straight pride parade, which is basically inevitable at this point, we could see even more problems and more violence from them one day soon, which is kind of scary. Finally, we got one more example of the anti-straight people attacking the straight pride parade event in public. This time, the bigotry comes from another YouTuber who I happened to bump heads with before last year. NFKRZ, also known as Roman, well, he's a pretty well-liked and typical YouTuber in the so-called commentary community. And well, we've seen him be anti-conservative and pro-SJW before, as he's hated on channels like mine in the past, and now, just a few weeks ago, Roman was coming after me again on Twitter, which turned into him hating on straights in the straight pride parade as well. The first tweet from Roman says, 
you're a right-wing conservative obsessed with seeing LGBT propaganda in any type of media, you support straight pride, a dumbass movement created by a bunch of neo-Nazi dog whistlers. Yikes. Sounds like Roman is not only against the straight pride parade, he's also for LGBT propaganda. He does seem to imply I'm seeing it in places where it isn't, or something, but I think it's pretty clearly there all the time, at least when I mention it. And I've shown this to be true in video after video. Frankly, I think this claim is just as baseless as his claims that straight pride was created by neo-Nazis and dog whistlers. I myself have still yet to see any of that personally, and Roman, of course, provided no evidence for it either. The next tweet even has Roman saying that the event is inherently homophobic and transphobic. For some reason, he refuses to explain. Does that mean gay pride events are inherently anti-straight? Because that would be the logical conclusion if you inverted all of this, but I'm sure gays can do no wrong according to social justice warriors like Roman. And as if this hack YouTuber's hypocrisy couldn't get any worse, Roman even filmed his next video at a gay pride event, just days after bashing and discrediting the straight pride one. Nice. And way to cash in on this gay pride stuff for June, buddy. You're like a big corporation now. And it's kind of saddening to see where these big, respected, so-called commentary YouTubers stand on this straight pride stuff. They are clearly against it and just as SJW as expected. That's why I bring these tweets and attacks up from Roman here at the end. I'm definitely not trying to butt heads with him again or restart any drama. Really, actually, I just think this is a good example of what mainstream, left-leaning commentary YouTubers think of things. They're pro-gay pride and anti-straights. And frankly, I think it's sad and weak that none of these big channels have even tried to step up and stand up for the straights here at all. Fortunately, you still got no bullshit here doing that unpopular thing. And I won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. But it is kind of funny because I never thought I would grow up and have to defend whites and straights in America here, but that's where things have gone in 2019. What do you guys think? Are you excited about the straight pride parade? Is anyone watching actually going to that? We're going to plan some kind of no bullshit meetup on that day, so stay tuned and stay in touch on here and on my Twitter for more details in the future. I am still a little worried about the event though. Do you guys think Antifa will show up in Boston? And finally, let's all show our support for straight people and the straight pride parade by liking this video hardcore. I would be stoked if we could get, say, 10,000 likes again, like what we got on our last straight pride video. So everyone smash that like button and let's hit that goal. And also comment your thoughts on everything below. Thanks for watching today's episode of No Bullshit and we'll see y'all next time.